Blade Network Technologies is planning to expand its presence in Australia and New Zealand. It's also appointed a new general manager for the area. For more on the expansion, the company's CEO, Vikram Mehta, joins me in the studio. Welcome. So first, if you can take us through, like, it used to be a division of Nortel, so how did it come about as its own company? Yeah, morning, uh, um, Helen. And uh, we used to, we started off life inside of Nortel as an operating division and, and very quickly sort of realized that this is a young, growing business that needed to be nurtured outside of the company. So uh, we partnered with Garnett and Halfridge Capital, a private equity firm based out of San Mateo, California injected some capital, uh, spun it off with, with 40 employees um, uh, almost four years ago, February 10th, 2006. And today the company employs about 250 people and um, has a very, very rapidly growing business. Fantastic. And so tell us about the growth then that you're, you're planning for the Australia and New Zealand region. Well, 2009, despite all the economic doom and gloom around the world, was a record year for the company. Um, we've had uh, uh, record quarters sequentially. 2010 is off to a great start. Uh, and markets like Australia represent a significant growth opportunity for, uh, uh, for the company. And so we're really, really excited about, uh, about the market, uh, really excited about the growth opportunities in uh, uh, Australia and New Zealand. Uh, and clearly very excited about the opportunities in the uh, Asia-Pacific region as well. Okay, so take us through some of the different regions that you operate in and the market comparisons that you see. I mean, how does Australia compare? Well, we're a global company. About 40% uh, of our business comes from uh, uh, the Americas, another 40% from Europe and 20% in Asia-Pacific. Uh, ANZ represents about 6-8% uh, to 8 of our global business. Uh, the things that sort of make uh, a country in a market like Australia um, uh, a good market for, for a company like Blade Network Technologies to operate in is first and foremost, uh, the user community here is technologically very, very advanced. Um, uh, the geographic distances in, in the country present a set of challenges uh, for technology companies like us to, to, to go out and solve. And when it comes to issues on uh, security, when it comes to issues on sustainability and efficiency of the ICT infrastructure, Australia is, is years ahead of some of the most sophisticated markets out there, uh, um, out there in the world. Okay. And so on another track, you're also working with a few financial institutions uh, to, to help them implement your technology. Take us through some of the examples, particularly with any stock exchanges. So we are uh, a supplier of technology to uh, the two largest stock exchanges in the world. And I think one of the things that uh, the internet has done has really brought into question the very viability of uh, exchanges as we knew them before the advent of, uh, uh, of the internet. Uh, in order to remain relevant, these stock exchanges need to put in place technology infrastructure that will enable very high frequency trading that would really uh, allow them to provide uh, improved service to, uh, uh, to their clients and that's exactly what Blade Network Technologies is doing in terms of helping these stock exchanges revamp their ICT infrastructure and achieve orders of magnitude improvement in their uh, trading latencies. Mm -hmm. And so how quick are you finding these organizations to adapt to the new technology? Are they open in changing the way they operate? Well, I think it, it uh, um, there isn't a choice if these, if these businesses have to remain relevant, if they've got to. It's a very competitive world. Um, and the Internet sort of changes the dynamics right around, right around the globe. So these organizations are very technology savvy. They are very forward thinking. Uh, and I think they're serious about carrying some of these changes out. And we're, uh, uh, we're very pleased to, to have been afforded the opportunity to work alongside some of these organizations to help put this new infrastructure in place. Okay, and do you think having a, a new team or at least a, a new uh, ma general manager here in Australia will help you then implement those types of deals within our country? Most certainly. We're very excited to have uh, Dave Humphreys on board to head up our ANZ operation. Um, and also having uh, uh, Peter Hall, who's uh, uh, vice president and general manager of our Asia-Pacific business located out of uh, uh, Melbourne, Australia. So uh, this is not only an important market for us to serve, um, uh, locally, but this also is our regional headquarters for, for how we drive business across other markets in Asia. Okay, Vikram, well, good luck with the expansion. Thanks for coming in. Well, thank you for having us.